Today in Cannabis News, a group of South Dakota State House legislators joined to rescue a proposal for statewide cannabis legalization. A proposed bill for statewide adult use legalization of cannabis in Rhode Island is presented to the State House and Senate chambers. And under a new state statute, patients registered in Minnesota's medical cannabis system can now receive smokable cannabis flower. It's Thursday, March 3rd, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your morning buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, a group of South Dakota State House legislators joined this week to rescue a proposal for statewide cannabis legalization just moments following it being overwhelmingly rejected in a panel leveraging a lawmaking procedure called a smokeout to land the bill in the chamber. SB3 was advanced by the state Senate last week and was subsequently rejected by the House State Affairs Committee earlier this week. After the panel's decision, organizers mobilized 24 House lawmakers to take the proposal to the chamber. We just smoked out a weed bill, said House Speaker Spencer Ghosh. Adults aged 21 years or older would be able to buy and carry a maximum of an ounce of cannabis from authorized merchants under the proposed bill. Yet, distinct from a proposal for which campaigners have been petitioning, residential growing would be prohibited. Next up, a proposed bill for the statewide adult use legalization of cannabis in Rhode Island was presented to the State House and Senate chambers this week, beginning rounds of deliberations prior to the agreement upon a culminating proposal. As per a proposed overview, the comparable proposals in each chamber would permit adults aged 21 years or older to carry a maximum of one ounce of cannabis and also permit household cultivation. Previous cannabis possession offenses could be removed if the guilty individual requests it. A maximum of 33 cannabis shops would be permitted to launch initially, including the current number of compassion centers in the state, which would be able to apply for hybrid permits to retail medicinal and adult use cannabis items. This is a great day, said House Sponsor Representative Scott Slater. Last year, we had some differences on our bills, but we've been able to come together and work collectively. Last up, under a new state statute that took effect this week, Patients registered in Minnesota's medical cannabis system can now receive smokable cannabis flower. Previously, businesses in the state could just offer medical cannabis as tablets, extracts, or ointments. As per KARE 11, the Minnesota Department of Health has licensed two businesses, Green Goods in Minneapolis and Leafline in St. Paul, to offer smokable cannabis flower, and patients have to register to receive it. The number one complaint we have heard from patients over the years is the price point, really, said Minnesota Department of Health Medical Cannabis Office Director Chris Tokes to KARE 11. Flour is cheaper because it's not concentrated like wax pens. It gives patients a much more affordable access point to the medicine that cannabis provides, said CEO of Virial Health of Minnesota, Dr. Kyle Kingsley. Many patients switching from our more standard products to flour will be able to save about 50% on a monthly basis to treat their various medical conditions. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm RJ Baldwin. And I'm Devin Liao. Have a great day.